So a little background information. I doesn't look like cancer and I'm like such a big relief because you know I was given the cancer talk and and it doesn't look cancerous apparently it's some type of granuloma with necrotizing bacteria that might need surgery and steroids and antibiotics so it's not great it's still quite an issue um but thankfully it's not cancerous Today was biopsy number two. The appointment was much less stressful since I knew what was going to be happening, but the actual procedure was more painful. Now we wait. Okay, so biopsy number two happened and um, the results were supposed to come yesterday. A physician was supposed to call me, but just like in their fashion of doing results, a receptionist called me uh, before our scheduled appointment with the doctor. And she said, um, so the doctor appointment uh, consult is canceled because uh, the results came back as basically inconclusive. They couldn't find anything. So just follow up with your primary care physician. And I was a little confused and I said, um, can I get a little more details? What do you mean they didn't find anything? Like, well, there's like nothing there. Like, don't you don't feel anything, right? And I'm like, no, I do feel the lump. It's still there even after two biopsies of taking out samples. And she's like, well, just the doctor said to follow up with your primary care physician. So I didn't sound too happy that they weren't really giving much to go on, but she just ended the phone call there. And about five minutes later, she a uh, nurse calls back and so a different woman and she's like oh we were talking about your case and i think they were talking about it because it was clear i wasn't too happy with no feedback and so the nurse is like we were talking about your case and the doctor changed her mind she thinks that we should run a few more tests on your biopsy materials so they still have some biopsy samples left over thankfully so she's like you don't have to do biopsy number three i but yeah i, I shouldn't need to so she's like, yeah, so the results should come next week. So all you do is just wait um, for the additional test results that are going to be running on your samples. So I guess now we wait, but it's a long process. Wow. Looking back at those videos, 
that was just the start of a very long health complication journey. So I had a couple biopsies and um, in the end, what they found was I had some kind of idiopathic granuloma that was so rare that there isn't much research on it and there isn't like a standard treatment protocol for it. The hospital that I was at, which is a pretty big hospital in this area, in the last 12 years, they had less than 10 people with this issue because of how rare it is. And it depends on how intense the uh, granulomas are, but um, they kind of treat it like breast cancer. And many patients with this issue have double mastectomies. Um, and thankfully, um, my issue decided to just disappear within three months and it hasn't come back. And um, my baby boy is already 14 months old. So you can see in the videos, this is quite a jump forward. Um, and so my baby boy, um, after the granuloma situation, I then had to have uh, my gall gallbladder removed because I had gallstones. So I had to deal with all of that. And afterwards, I had COVID for the first time. I never had it before until the end, literally December of 2022. Probably one of the last people to get it for the first time. By then, a lot of people already got sick with COVID two or three times. Um, and then we had to treat baby through COVID. He actually took it rough. I know not all children have it rough. Um, and then afterwards, I did... Uh, IVF, and now I'm pregnant. So it was quite a long journey um, from the cancer scare. I still remember the doctor, you know, talked to me about get ready, it's probably cancer. And then the other doctors confirming that their ultrasounds is showing up as cancer because granuloma is so rare that that's their thought process. They don't know what it is. It looks like cancer. And if you, you know, research it, um, the idiopathic granulomas um, in that specific area have do show up as cancer um it, visually it looks like it um and the biopsies kept coming back inconclusive it was such a big mess but luckily the end of the story is positive and i get to be healthy and happy for my little angel